Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be speaking with you about why students should dress sharp, why students should pay attention the way they present themselves to the clothing that they put on their bodies. And this is something that having, a, I graduated with my MBA maybe, I don't know, was it seven or eight years ago? So, not too long ago, I was going across the University of Texas and I'm very familiar at that time at least with student style. I don't think it's gotten a whole lot better. And the purpose of this video is to get you interested, to get you thinking that, you know what? Those are some pretty good points. I might up my game just a tad. Now, this is a sponsored video brought to you by Lee Jeans. And uh, I'm currently wearing their Lee New Modern Series. The fit is great. And another cool thing about these Lee Modern uh, Fit jeans is that they come in a wide variety of washes and colors. One of the suggestions I make for students to up their fit, or I'm sorry, up their style, is to up the fit, to make sure that the clothing that they wear actually fits them. And the cool part, when I was looking at the makeup of these new Modern Series jeans, 99% cotton. Now, that 1%, they use spandex. And can you guess why they use that? It actually enables you to get a little bit better fit in and around the, the whole, uh, the buttocks, the crotch, the, the leg, the thigh area. And this is really important because I know a lot of you guys don't want to wear clothing that is tight, but at the same time, you want to wear something that fits you a little bit better, closer to your body. Usually when you're in your early 20s or your late 20s, maybe you're back at grad school, you've probably got some of the, the best body you're ever going to have in your life. And you want to, in a sense, show that off. If you're going to the gym and taking care of yourself, you want to have clothing that fits your body. So, check out the Lee Modern Series. Okay. So, in this video, I'm going to give you three reasons. I'm going to give you, and I'm not going to go too deep into them. I've got an entire article which links over to the studies and talks about the points. But number one, the reason you want to dress better is when you wear the clothing that actually you feel good in, that people compliment you on, and that is right for the environment, you actually perform better. This comes out of the, the field of enclosed cognition, and they've done a lot of research over at Northwestern. Uh, there's a few other universities. We'll go ahead and link over to those studies. But what they found is that whenever people wore certain types of clothing, clothing that made them feel more confident, almost like a suit of armor, they performed better. Students that actually dressed up for tests would perform better. And the, one of the reasons what they noticed with this one study with guys wearing doctor jackets versus painter jackets is that whenever they would wear their clothing, they would take on some of the some of the behaviors that are associated with it. Now, this doesn't work if you're just dressing up to dress up. But if you dress up and you actually kind of go through a little bit of a meditate, kind of almost like meditation, and you feel that, okay, you're putting on, this is your A game. This is your, your A game uniform that you will perform better. So, number one, dress sharp, perform better. Number two, the halo effect. So, if you haven't ever heard of this, it goes back to like the 1920s and they initially call it the halo defect. And what they noticed is that military officers, when they were ranking when they were ranking uh, soldiers, Marines, sailors, they were accidentally, uh, well, not accidentally, it was a prejudice if a guy was squared away. And what do I mean by squared away? I've seen that in the comments. I mean, if his uniform was nice, if he looked like the ideal soldier, when there was a picture of him right there with his profile and he looked like the ideal soldier, that he would actually be rated higher despite being perhaps average or the same as others. And so, because of his appearance, the, the guy that was doing this, he thought, you know, why, it's almost like they have a halo around them. Why are they getting higher marks? Because they haven't really earned them. And what he found is that whenever you someone's visually pleasing, and again, this depends on your environment. So, you don't want to wear a tuxedo in to take in, into your daily class, but you can step up your game. And by doing that, by wearing clothing that actually fits you, by wearing something that, again, not over the top, you don't have to wear a suit, but perhaps wearing a nice sweater, a collared shirt, again, jeans or even dress slacks that fit you, nice shoes. By doing these small things, professors, other students are going to just naturally give you, they're going to associate you with other positive attributes. So, number two, the halo effect. Number three, now there was this new study that just came out in 2014. It was, uh, who was it? Gordon Crosno and Wang, three researchers, two at the University of Illinois, one at the University of Texas. And they, this is a really cool study. They studied students from about age 16 to into their mid 30s. So, it was over 15 years that they were studying these students. And what they discovered is that the students that were considered more attractive performed better. Lookism is real. 
So you've got, you know, this study is just right off, hot off the press, really cool stuff. And what's even more amazing about this is you didn't have to be the best looking student to receive the benefit. If you were considered at all attractive, so believe me, there, there are some things we can't do much about. The shape of our face and the symmetry and whether or not our face is attractive, don't have too much control, but what we can control is the clothing. So as long as you can appear somewhat attractive, you are going to reap the same benefits as if you were the most attractive person in the room. Now, the study is interesting because they also talk about some negative attributes. Basically, more attractive people were more likely to socialize and not spend as much time studying. However, that was still offset by all the other benefits they were given. So I just gave you three solid reasons. Again, go check out the article, a link to the studies. But if you're serious about improving yourself, if you're thinking about all the money that you are putting into your university education, don't handicap yourself by selling yourself short and dressing, dressing like everyone else. Because I think you've got ambitions. I think you have goals that are different than anyone else. So don't feel that you're clothing. I mean, look around. Everyone is dressing the same. Have the courage to be yourself, find your unique style and leverage it to get what you want out of life. All right? Take care. I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget, if you want more, I've got courses. I've got a free 47-page ebook. All this can be found at realmenrealstyle.com. Take care. See you later.